everyone, I'm Maddie Thompson from Clear Path Robotics and this is the Robot Spotlight, our series where we highlight some of the most interesting and unique robots that come through our integration shop. Now how can robotics help with routine operation and maintenance in the industry? That's the challenge that our customer has set out to tackle with this new Husky based robot. Let's go ahead and get started with the episode. So today I'm here with our systems engineer, Ryan, who's going to talk to us a little bit about his most recent project. So Ryan, could you tell us a bit about your robot? Sure. Thanks, Maddie. So we've partnered with Explorbot to develop a robot which will improve the sustainability of plant operations, um, specifically in the oil and gas industry. So this robot will use its sensors to collect data, specifically um, thermal data, optical data, acoustic data, and LiDAR data. The data is collected through our indoor nav software or outdoor nav software stored locally on the robot and is downloaded to an external um, server at the end of the day. This data will be used to generate a three-dimensional model of the plant facility and specific equipment and then that model can be analyzed to determine deviations from the normal operating um, state of the equipment on a daily basis. So what kind of unique design features are there? So due to the rigors of the uh, oil and gas industry, we've designed this as a much more integrated platform than our standard uh, research robots. All of the sensors are recessed and protected as much as possible, and the entire platform is IP54 rated. Despite the fact that this is a fully complete inspection system, it is still usable by the customer as a development platform to be expanded upon. Could you give us a tour of the robot? Absolutely. So starting at the bottom, we have our Husky base platform. This was chosen due to the small footprint and the ruggedness for use in the environment. Inside the platform, we've installed uh, two lithium ion uh, batteries for increased runtime. On the front here, we have a wireless charging system. Um, this allows the Husky to return to its dock at the end of a day and to charge without any intervention. Inside the base platform, we have two PCs. One is our main PC that runs ROS. The second is a PC that's specifically dedicated for the indoor nav software. Moving up to the enclosure, we have on the front and rear of the robot, we have a 2D LiDAR system. These 2D LiDAR are used to navigate through our indoor nav software and also are used for uh, autonomously docking. Behind the uh, LiDARs on the front and back are our GPS receivers. Um, GPS receivers in combination with the antennas are used to give a GPS lock for the, um, for the robot. Around the perimeter of the robot, we have emergency stops. On the side of the robot here, we have the HMI panel. This allows the user to turn on and off the driving lights, as well as status indicators for the PCs on the inside of the enclosure. On the other side of the robot, we have a breakout panel, which allows the user to connect directly to the PCs while they're inside the, uh, the robot. Finally, inside the enclosure, we have a wireless access point. This allows the robot to communicate directly to our base station and to give Wi-Fi access to the, um, to the robot for the user. A exciting upgrade that we have on this robot is the access point is cellular capable, which allows a user to potentially use this in an environment where Wi-Fi access, it's not applicable, it's not, uh, it's not usable. Moving up from the enclosure up into the mast, we have our four antennas um, at the bottom of the mast. These antennas are, again, for the GPS system and then also for the wireless access point. Moving up to the top, we have a pan tilt unit, which gives you a full 350 degrees of pan control around the mast, as well as 80 degrees tilt control. Mounted on top of the pan tilt unit, we have our optical and thermal camera, as well as our microphone. At the center of the robot here, 
we have our 3D LiDAR. So this is a 16-beam, three-dimensional LiDAR. For this robot specifically, this LiDAR is used for obstacle avoidance on our outdoor nav software, as well as we take the point cloud data from this uh, LiDAR and integrate it into the sensor data to generate our three-dimensional models. So what kind of software is this robot running? So this uh, robot runs both our indoor nav uh, and our outdoor nav software. The outdoor nav software allows the robot to navigate autonomously outdoors using GPS signal and GPS navigation. It also allows the user to teleop the robot around outdoors. The indoor nav software allows the robot to navigate autonomously in a structured environment, so in an indoor situation. In addition to that, the robot uh, runs a standard ROS environment. All of the sensors are available within the ROS environment for the user to pull the data and manipulate it as they see fit. That's it for our video today. Thank you so much, Ryan, for taking the time to share your robot with us. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a like, and if you have any questions at all, just leave those down below. Now, don't forget to subscribe because there will be more videos like this one coming very soon. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.